the upgraded oiling system on the 3.4 litre um, X51 engine consists of two main parts. One of these is a, a dual chamber scavenge pump, which basically um, adds an extra scavenge stage to one side of the engine. Um, and the other feature of it is the, a change to the sump design. So I'm just going to have a look at the differences between the X51 and the standard sump. So this one here is an X51 sump and this one here is the standard sump. So looking at them side by side, you can see the, the main differences are that the, the centre chamber on it, on the standard sump, you can see there's a, a section here that's raised up and there's a sort of central chamber in there. So any oil that's above that level will be out in this section. Um, any oil from the sides can come in through these baffles on here and will hopefully be trapped in the middle. This is where the pickup sits in here. Whereas on the X51 sump design, we've got some rubber baffles up on the side here on both ends and also along here. So it looks like it's trying to basically keep all of the oil in a larger section in the center. And again, the oil pickup is on here. So I'll show you the insides of the engine on the next video, and then I'll show you how these attach to the actual engine themselves and what they look like with the sump in place on the, on the block. Help put things into context, show the insides of the, of the sump on the engine. In the center here, we have the main oil pickup with a strainer on it. Then on this side, we have the oil temperature and level sensor. And on the other side, we have the dipstick tube. Then these two sections here are the oil return swirl pots from the scavenge pumps from the head. So this one on this side returns from this head. So when the vehicle's cornering and there's a lot of oil going to this head, it's returning over to this side of the sump so that it can then be pushed back towards the center. So it's going back towards the pickup. And likewise, this one is coming from here, which routes through the block to the pump on the on the other side. And then the main drain from the from the crankshaft is is coming down from there. So you can you can see the the level of the crankshaft in there. So that's the basics of the of the bottom of the engine. Um, and then I'm not quite sure where the oil level would normally sit. There are some some marks on the side of it probably do some calculations to work out where the oil level usually sits but given that that's the the level sensor there it's got to be somewhere somewhere up sort of around here so that's the the standard level when the engine's not running here is a standard sump fitted onto uh, an engine block so if we look at the details around around here so we can see from one side of the engine there's a there's a gap through here to get to the other side. So when it's stationary, anything above this level in the sump here can flow across from one side of the engine to the other. The actual gap uh, in terms of where the, the pickup is, sort of main sump area is in there. And it also fits relatively closely to the block around here, but there is a gap at the top there. So basically anything above this height in the sump, if it's in this main centre section, it's going to spill out from there into the surrounding area, into the larger area of the sump. These outside areas are where the, um, the feeds from the scavenge pumps return to. Um, and then, as I say, anything over, over this height here can then go across from one side to the, to the other. This is the, um, the back end of the engine over here. So this is the end closest to the rear of the car. Um, you can see on here, that's where the, where the water pump fits on there. So this is basically under acceleration, the oil is being pushed to here. So if you're accelerating and there's lateral G-forces, the oil can relatively easily move from one side to the other. So that's a standard sump. I'll now fit the X51 sump and we can look at the differences. This is the X51 sump attached to the engine. Now, immediately on here, at this end, we can see a difference. 
this this part of the sump is now sealing all the way up the side of the block. So if we uh, go in here, you can see in there. So I, uh, just pull the sump out so you can see better. So that, that part of the sump is basically sealing all the way up the side of the block. So the, the center section is much better isolated. And also these rubber sections here, see the rubber section there, is sealing around the block as well. So when, when the sump is in place, just try to drop it back into place on here. So when the sump is in place, if you imagine on this side, this is sealing against the block, this is sealing against the block. So the centre section where the oil pickup is collecting from is a much larger area and it's much better isolated. Whereas on the standard sump, if oil was at the back of the sump, it could easily flow from side to side. Now it can't. There's basically a small hole here, which goes through to this section here, which then feeds through into the pickup section. So as you can imagine, when the engine stops, if the pickup section fills up, the oil's got to be able to equalize between the channels. Um, but effectively, the oil, when it gets into these end sections, um, is much more likely to go into the center section where the pickup is than on the standard sump. And also the center section on here has a much larger volume and is massively better sealed against the against the rest of the block. So once oil's in there, it's most likely to stay in there for, for longer. Fitted into the engine block without the sump, so you can get a much better idea of how it actually looks inside. So on this side, you can see with the rubber seals on the side, we've got a much better seal on both the front and rear. So this, this entire center section here now creates one one large compartment where you can see where it picks up from in the center and then there's basically two smaller compartments one each side where the um, the returns from the the scavenge pumps come back into so we've got uh, three very nicely sealed compartments in here the ceiling isn't absolutely perfect um, there are some some gaps as you can see there's a gap through there on this area um, but it's it's massively better than it is on the on the standard sump. Just to expand a little on what I said earlier, so here with the the two sumps side by side out of the vehicle, we can better see the the differences between them. So on on the standard sump, the oil level can get up to here before it's realistically going to start more easily spilling out to the outside and also on this side up to this level whereas on the x51 sump it's completely sealed up this side and this also seals against the block and this seals against the block so there's much more effective sealing from the side section also once oil is in this area during cornering if you're accelerating under cornering the oil is going to sort of sit in this area it's going to stay on this side then it can flow through the baffles towards the pickup. Whereas on the standard sump, it's more likely to flow back through here. So if you're accelerating, cornering, it can flow onto, onto the opposite side away from the pickup. So basically the oil is more likely to slosh around in this area around here, rather than make its way where you want it towards the pickup. And when it does get into the section where the pickup is, it's also more likely to get out again. So in summary, from what I can see here, the X51 sump design does look like a, um, a good improvement and a big step forward over the standard sump. I can see why it would really, really help with oil control.